is the new bad or is bad the new good? I don't know. Disney Descendants taking over the Tap Theater starting tomorrow. The show being produced by the Children's Theater of Cincinnati. And this morning, I am joined by my good friend, Children's Theater producing artistic director, Roderick Justice. Roderick, how are you, pal? I'm great. Hello. How are you, my friend? Man, I'm doing so good. I'm so glad you're here. I'm so excited that you guys are getting ready to open the season. How you feeling? You good to go? You ready? I'm feeling great. We've got a great lineup coming up, and we're knocking it out with a show that's... Uh that's uh, been on our docket for a while, but with the pandemic, it kept right. getting pushed back, pushed back. And this is a show about giving second chances, and we've got a third chance to present <laughs> them to everybody. So yeah. it's, it's going to be quite epic. I was thinking about that. It's been on the season. This is the third season. It's essentially been on the schedule. Yes, yes. Wow, that's wild. And, and we're, we're really excited to finally bring this to life. Well, and third time it's been on the schedule. And you just kind of told me during the commercial break, there are songs in this one from all Three of the, All three, yeah. All so three of the Descendants movies? It's a little bit different. Uh, okay. We usually perform in a 60-minute model. This is a 90-minute show. It's wow. really exciting. And they incorporate the music from all three. Uh, they follow the storyline from one. But sure. But really, uh, you'll, you'll get all of your favorite numbers. I, oh, mean, I love that. Spoiler alert, you're going to have fun. Um, are, <laughs> the, are the younger folks in this show? Are they giddy to be in this show? Because I, I, I would get the sense that they are, given the phenomenon that this sh this movie was. Absolutely, and see, well, you know, a lot of misconception about children see that we're kids on stage, but sure. really we're we're professionals on stage, whether it's an adult in adult role and a child in a child role, and a lot of the. The kids in this role are really college right. kids, and they—I uh, th think a lot of them grew up watching. Because so they were the right age yeah, when this right, came out. Yeah, and yeah. so they—they're a bit geeked to, uh, <laughs> to actually, you know, I uh, love it. portray some of these really iconic characters. And it's just so nice to be to be back in the theater. And are there are there any limitations any in terms of people coming to the show right now? Or uh, come one, come all, let's come go. Come one, come all. Be safe, yeah. be smart. If you're not feeling well, probably not the best uh, idea. But sure. hey, uh, we we want to get back to what the new normal is and and this is a great show to do so and it's going to be a packed house we were talking about you, you and i way back when way back when i played his his dad in high school musical that's a true story um, but that was similar in that it was that sort of Disney teen phenomenon sort of movie. Oh, are yeah. you getting that same sense with this in terms of how people are going to show up for this Absolutely. one? Absolutely. Yeah. It's so, such a unique type of show where it's a collage of all of your favorite Disney characters. But what's even cooler is that our, our design team has taken the entire ensemble and it's kind of like a big I spy. The entire ensemble has a backstory. So you'd look around and go, oh wait, that's she must be related to Alice in Wonderland. He must be related to Hercules. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's uh, Esmeralda's cousin or something. Yeah. So everybody yeah. in the show, it's a big I spy. I love that. Yeah. I love that. Um, speaking of, of I spy, there, this is just opening of the season. you got lots of other great shows coming up. So let's mention what else is happening this season. Right. Up next, we have Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Jr. Who doesn't love Yeah, a that, that's a, that's a no miss story. on yeah. that one, I think. Uh, and then we have a brand new world premiere musical called Princess and Frog yeah. that uh, will be in uh, February. And we will end our season with Disney's Moana in a style and a way we have never attempted before. And undoubtedly, come spring, we will get together and we will talk more about that. All right. But I did want to mention one tiny little piece of information yes. about, about Moana. Is that okay? Yes, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, Tamatoa, uh, yeah. the great big crab, he who is shiny. I'll, I'll be doing that. First first time I've been back on stage with you guys in a long time. I'm, and I'm so, so I'm so excited. excited. I'm so be ready a really, to do it. Really, really fun show. And what a yeah. great role for you. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because I mean, you're you're very shiny. I'm very shiny. I'm, I'm going to work out. I'm, I'm going to come out of my shell. Right. Oh, oh my oh, goodness. Oh, yeah. Stop it. Uh, okay, but <laughs> this show is the one we're talking about now. Descendants, the musical. It opens tomorrow. Give me show times. Give me tickets. All that kind of good stuff. You can find all our tickets on our website, thechildrenstheater.com. But we have a show opening tomorrow at 2. And we also have a show tomorrow at 5. I love it. I hope you guys go down and get a chance to check out the Children's Theater of Cincinnati. They always do an amazing, amazing job. Thanks for making time. It's Tech Week. I know you're crazy busy. So thanks oh, for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Good to see you, pal.